there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. I'm excited to be sharing this video because it's super colorful, it's a lot of fun, and it features brand new products from Doodlebug's Over the Rainbow Collection. We're gonna be making mini cards and coordinating envelopes. This is a fun project because they're pretty simple to do and you can make a whole bunch of these with the pieces that I'm going to be utilizing from the collection. The fun part is that then you can give these to people, you can send them out, that you could put them with gifts, put them in someone's lunch bag, lots of ways that you can utilize these adorable cards. So let's check out the project. I have made some mini cards. They are two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm also utilizing some of the patterned paper from the Doodlebug Over the Rainbow collection to add some bright pops of patterns and colors to my cards. I always love incorporating shape sprinkles into my projects and these shamrocks were so cute. I thought I would make a birthday card using them and creating my own pattern with those stickers. And then I also added a small happy birthday sentiment along the bottom of this card. Filling in between the shamrocks, I'll use some of those smaller dots and the flowers that are part of this sticker collection. So as you can see, utilizing those pieces, I have a card already made, and then I'm going to make coordinating envelope. So the envelope is made with our gift card envelope die. So you could put a gift card into this, but these mini cards are gonna fit perfectly inside because like I said, they're two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that just fits inside of these cute little gift card envelopes. To make the envelope, you're gonna die cut it from some pattern paper and then fold on all of the score lines. Then you're gonna open everything back up and using some 1 8 inch terrific tape from Simon's Stamp, I'm going to add some tape on one of the side flaps and also the bottom flap. These are the flaps that are gonna hold everything together. I'll remove the release paper and then fold those flaps on top of each other to form my little envelope. How cute is this? You can decorate it with some of the fun ephemera pieces. I'm gonna close my envelope with a bit of the new washi tape I love those little bugs and shamrocks. And even decorating the inside of these cards is a lot of fun. Using the ephemera in many different ways, including decorating the envelopes, the inside of the card, it's a lot of fun to customize your pieces to make some cute little cards. Here's another one I did with one of the doodle pops. Using some of the pattern paper, I created a little scene. So I used blue for the sky and this green dotted pattern for the ground. Now I'm going to take the little doodle pops and start arranging them onto my card. I did cut one of the mushrooms down a little bit so it was a tad smaller and then fit everything inside of my little card size. Some of the cards are top folding and some of them are side folding. I wanted to have a little bit of difference between them. I found this cute little greeting from one of the ephemera packs. There's three different ephemera packs which I'm linking to in the video description along with all the other supplies that I'm using today. These ephemera packs are fun because some have a lot of cute icons, some have sentiments, one of them even has some tags. As you can see, I have a coordinating envelope that I made with the polka dot paper and added a shamrock to the front flap. Sometimes I even chop down some of these ephemera pieces to make them fit. These are smaller size cards. You wouldn't have this problem if you were making a regular size card, so something a bit larger. But because these are mini, I wanted to make sure that my sentiments would fit. Sometimes, like this one, where it was a bit longer, I just cut it down so that way I could have two lines instead of one. Then I used foam tape to pop those up onto my card. It's always fun to add a little bit of a wonky angle to some of your elements. It gives a little movement to the card, which I think is fun. And don't forget to add little details. I included this tiny little heart in the corner. I thought it would fill in that space that was left over really nicely. There are some sweet puffy icon stickers that are part of this collection. So many fun pieces. For this card, I thought I would take one of the rainbows and stick that on the inside. I put it right in the center along the top part of the card and I can write my message to the recipient down below. How sweet is that? For the envelope that coordinates, I use some striped pattern paper and then one of these postage stamps is gonna go in the corner. This is adorable, and even though they're too small to mail, you could stick this into a larger envelope to get it to the recipient. In addition to the Bug and Shamrock washi tape, there's some cute rainbow washi tape too, and so I utilized a strip of that to close this particular envelope up. So this darling pair looks so sweet together. I love how all the colors within this collection work so well together. So even if you're using shamrocks with rainbows, everything works so beautifully together. 
Sometimes when I'm working with some of the ephemera pieces, I allow the image to sometimes go over the edge of my card. And then that way I'll just come back in with my scissors and trim off any elements that I don't want to remain hanging off the side. This little shamrock that the hedgehog is holding, I did want to maintain, but all of the extra pieces I just trimmed up to fit the same size as the card. You can also mix and match your doodle pops. Here I have this cute little girl dressed up like an elf and I used just some of the floral elements from that set and I'll save her for another project. These little floral elements looked fabulous with my hedgehog and it added a nice pop of dimension because these are dimensional stickers. To coordinate the envelope with my hedgehog, I wanted to maintain the shamrock feature. So I'm going to use some dot runner from Simon's Stamp to put some adhesive on the back side of this border. Then I'll lay it across my striped envelope and trim off any excess that's hanging off the sides. This cleans everything up really nicely. And then for another final woodland touch, I pulled out this cute little squirrel and I'll stick her on the corner of this card. This ties in the fun woodland theme that's going on in the card. To finish off the inside, I did add a little floral and there we go, another set completed. Here's another scene that I built with one of the little mushroom houses. I put this on top of a blue pattern paper piece, also from the Doodlebug Over the Rainbow collection, and I used foam squares to attach that down. Then picking out a puffy sticker, I added one extra dimensional cloud. This kind of makes the cloud background come to life. And then I also added some florals, a mushroom, and even a shamrock on top of one of the shamrocks that already exists on the ephemera piece. This makes the ephemera piece a little bit more extra special. For the envelope, I have this sweet little gingham background that I added a little floral element to some clouds and a butterfly. Here's one of those tags. I decided I didn't want a tag on this project, but I loved this image so much that I just cut the top part of the tag off. And now I can use it as a little icon on my envelope flap. So I'll just put a bit of adhesive on that and stick it onto the flap. And there we go. We have now this sweet little rainbow cloud added to our envelope. And the inside has a nice fun greeting for the recipient. So many different ways that you could utilize this doodle bug over the rainbow collection to make some sweet mini cards, whether you're going to mail them, give them to your kids in their lunch boxes, put them with a birthday gift. You've got a lot of different ways that you can utilize this collection. And I think you'll have a lot of fun making these cards. I had a blast. Don't forget all the products that I use today are listed below in the video description, as well as on our blog. So be sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more to share. I'm Heidi, Simon's Mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.